Hi dear friends, this is MDL Lesgar. Welcome to new another part of the video of Planet Automation Limited. Today I want to describe about the topics of uh, PWM means pulse width modulations in logo PLC. Pulse width modulations or PWM today's topics in here. The very important topics of our any kinds of industry when we are we are controlled by analog to digital. That times is very important. What will they have in this video? First time you will describe these topics in here. What is PWM? That means pulse width modulations. What is that? And uh, two number is so why is it used in a PLC? P is PLC programming for PWM or pulse wide modulations and four is applications of a PWM. So friends, what is PWM? Pulse Word Modulations or PWM or Pulse Duration Modulation or PDM is a method of reducing the average power tolerated by an electrical signal by a effectively a tubing so it is up to discrete parts. The average value of a voltage and current speed to the load is controlled by turning the switch between supply and load on and off this first right. So friends, this is the PWM or pulse width modulations or PDM also. This is also controlling digital signals and this is the reducing of power. Sometimes this is on and sometimes this is off. Of the times you reducing of your power, a stepper motor or any kinds of uh, sub motor, this very effectively affected on your any kinds of practical sector. The average value of uh, voltage and current fed the load is controlled by the turnings and the switch between supply and load and fed of this first rate. And this is the continuous process times. So friends, uh, worth durations. <laughs> See, this is the worth uh, 100%, uh, 20%, 80 80%, 85%, 90% durations. This is the length of time, uh, 5 to 95 uh, durations is uh, loading in here. This is off time and this is the on time. Off time, this is as like as a uh, zero volt and when you this thumb on, and uh, that times it's off uh, for five volts. This is the increasing times so after by after. And this is the voltage range, uh, zero to five volt, 10 volt or five volt is your maximum duration time. Also, any kinds of uh, devices in here is a red, green, blue. Every pulse counted every time seen here. This is also examples of um, PWM or pulse wide modulation. See, easy times uh, and duration cycle is a uh, 5 to 95 duration times. 0 to 2 to 5 volt uh, is a range is for in here. That times uh, it's a uh, duty cycle is up to 95%. And so when zero, another example of uh, PWM which are you control of your output. Why is it used in a PLC? PWM is is the acronym for pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation is a very powerful function that is commonly used for the control the positioning of servo bulbs. Very important and is also used for the laser pulse control, motion control, light intensity control. Intensity is the depthness of your light and PWM pulse width modulation controls and other applications. The single pulse features of the functions is applicable to any single pulse output need. So that times is PWM is needed in here. So friends, this is our practical sector is a servo bulb, some used for any kinds of pulse control, motion control, light intensity control is a very much usable function of our any kind of factory this place is um, very much working for the pwm function of any kind of plc i hope you guys understand plc uh, pwm which is controlled by the current temperature this is the 1200 plc programming sequence pid enable input this is uh, and it said is a set temperature this is um, your memory memory data register and actual temperature this is a set temperature so set temperature and it's an actual temperature which is your show off of your output and pid controller reset when you are a reset of your pid professional integral derivative pulse wide modulations and connections to PID compact this is the both of them connection is each another and our main work is output PWM when we are control of our output by input input is a analog signal so by control by RTD or any kind of TC thermocouple the times it's a uh, uses in here is the input or set point and main uh, input or actual value is in here output control of your output by of your input that times it's need in here PWM Q1.1 this output Output SSR that means solid state relay output that is control of your three phase or single phase output which are you want for devices um, single phase that times is control of your so friends this is the main fact for PWM when you are a control of your output by input sometimes it's on sometimes it's off robot arm is working or sometimes it's off sometimes it's work 
So that times a PW AMA pulse width modulation is very essential function of your output, any kinds of PLC output. I hope you guys understand when we are uses of our PWM function in our sector. This is the simple example of um, any kinds of PLC which is in here, zero times and is the high times so on zero honor of one milliseconds in every seconds in here. The best step is this is a doing here, one milliseconds is on and one millisecond will be off or one second will be off. So modulation time or duration time this is absolutely dependent on you. How much duration time is needed and how much of time is needed. Working process dependent on your factory of your belt of your engine in here plc programming for pwm introducing to your logo plc programming or logo plc open up your structure and then go to the ladder diagrams easily understand that's why i'm using in here so go to the pwm this is the our main function pwm is easily and then go to the script uh, is easily understand it's a three parameter uh, in that means anavel ax that means uh, analog input and the pr is parameter and this is your output in that means your positive edge means your digital input your signal is in need in here. zero to one transitions zero of or off when you are on of you want to on of your pwm multi generator that times it's needed the one that means on to on of your pwm that times and your input is a analog signal to be modulated to a pulse generate pulse digital output signal the analog to output also we have said is when you are need of our any kinds of analog to output devices the control that times pulse wise modulation is very essential to in one function to in one possibility in here so friends, this is a very important of our any kinds of industry and priority table priority table is also a waste time four seconds that means two seconds is high two seconds is low so friends, this is a total four seconds is an example in high times of your this is the uh, two seconds on two second off two second on two second off two second on and this is the one second that's half second is off half second is on half second is off half second is on this continuous process the minimum range and maximum range is in here x 500 that means for uh, when you are counting of any kinds of celsius degree celsius some 500 degrees celsius that times 500 to 1000 degrees is the maximum uh, maximum pulse and how to depth or intensity of your output that is uh, dependent on your an analog input value 500 range uh, 1000 and 1 is to 4 seconds in high difference in here let's go to the um, uh, main program first times we are needed of uh, or any kinds of analog input take a digital input okay and then analog contract the analog contract in here and uh, it's a uh, into this here and uh, I want to start our staff chain here let's start manually manually start our staff chain here and uh, this is our main destination PWM PWM or pulse generator pulse generator generator is just like a produce of our output signal that's why i'm telling you here so friends um, go to the mac contract for sf01 that means pulse with modulations and this is the our digital output that's why we need our digital output. and this is a control of any kind of motor or motor or pump which i control of my plc so friends this is the our analog temperature sensor any kinds of temperature sensor uses in here so friends this is the main topics of our these destinations in here i hope you guys understand what is the main topics in here we want to the important um, priority table priority table is uh, i want to this one there's a half second on half second off the time system is uh, our program is on right now in here when we are start of our analog signal the times it's on so friends you are see it's a um, half second is on half so friends, this is a continuous processing seen here uh, one second on one second off one second on one second off uh, and we are this is the duration so it's a one and it's the duration for one the time we are using two uh, one, uh, two seconds off one second on two seconds off one second off two second off one second off it's a raising of our analog input the times its intensity is deeply deeply doing seen here two seconds on one second off two second on one second two second this is the your on time first is on time and second is your off time when you are one one that times one is off one is on one second on one second off one second on one second off one second on one second off it's also interesting point in who you want to see of our digital output for the display of our plc display that's the times uh, we are needed must text in here see of my previous video that times you understand what is the the main function of message text my analysis of uh, this uh, function and uh, my previous video so if you are a miss of missing of my uh, previous any kinds of video that times you please you watch up my video the times you understand temperature temperature and uh, must be it's a 
so now we start off our it's a one second on one second off okay friends you are see it see there one second on what your display will be one second on and one second off the continuous process your temperature show off is a 505 degrees celsius your temperature and your load is on your display is on your load is off your display is off okay is continuously processing of your continuously beat or continuous pulse is doing after by after in here uh, so friends this is the main theme of our digital output analog input to digital output continuous pulse of our output we are continuously counting of our output from this in here okay up to second is on one second is on. step by step continuously is doing in here and uh, this is very essential of our this output in here what times on that means uh, your four seconds uh, four second is on and ten. one second is off so when four second is on one second is off four second is on one second is off actual dependence conveyor belt of your factory time is maximum this is um, uh, your high time uh, this is the your maximum durations or maximum voltage of any kind so the working time also the and um, when this is the off that is the zero levels and its continuous process make the digital output put main as an example as a, this is the rtd temperature sensor put um, and uh, this is your plc and this is the output and it's go to the your solid state relay i will describe to this uh, previous uh, functions we on your see as analog to digital converter and this is the your input and this is your output signal so friends, application of a pwm this is the dc motor application of pwm to is a dc servo motor and uh, uh, three is a stepper motor and four is joysticks and uh, five is you know, the electronics devices such as Arduino. The electronic sector basically electronic circuit, but uh, our this uh, DC motor, DC servo motor, stepper motor is three kinds of types of uh, for PLC. I hope you guys understand what is the main applicable sector of PWM in the PLC sector, DC motor, DC servo motor, stepper motor. I hope you guys understand what is the main topics of PWM and why essential of PWM in the coming of the PLC. If you like of this video, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon. Till then, Allah Hafiz.